Have you ever wondered how powerful black holes really are? We know that even light cannot get out of their depths, but a black hole attracting six galaxies at once is something absolutely fantastic. And one monster a thousand times larger than the Sun has managed to do it, spreading its web 300 times larger than the Milky Way. But we still know so little about black holes that even this may be just the tip of the iceberg. What if black holes hide entire universes inside them? And what if we actually live in one of them? No one can look inside a black hole, at least because human life is not long enough to make this possible. As you approach any black hole monster, the gravitational field grows tremendously. And as it increases, time slows down more and more. Under such circumstances, an observer can only see the interior of a black hole after an infinite amount of time. But even if it was somehow possible to speed up this process, we still wouldn't be able to penetrate a black hole. Let's suppose that one desperate researcher decided to make such a journey. He would first have to make a way through an accretion disk that surrounds a black hole. This region of glowing gas rotates at the speed of light. It's also incredibly heated by the friction of matter that gets absorbed by the black hole. So it would instantly incinerate the curious researcher. Although according to one theory, accretion disks of electrically charged black holes are cooled by quantum noise. If so, the researcher would probably be able to pass this region without getting fried or being torn into atoms. But then, if this was a small black hole, he wouldn't survive because of its powerful gravity. But scientists say that in huge black holes, gravity is weaker. And if so, perhaps the researcher might have witnessed a whole universe inside such a giant. But we'd never know for sure. Black holes have enormous mass. The Sun at that density would be the size of New York City and the Earth would be smaller than a peanut. The gravitational force of such massive space objects doesn't allow matter or even light to escape them. For a long time, scientists believed that there was nothing inside black holes except for dust, the remains of stars, planets, and galaxies not yet digested by these monsters. But recently, cosmologists found out things that are not that simple with electrically charged rotating black holes. Under certain conditions, photons, other particles, and possibly large celestial bodies, such as planets, can rotate in their wombs. This led scientists to believe that space inside a superconducting black hole is being stretched and deformed, and this happens at different speeds and in all directions, just like our expanding universe. But this is not the only similarity. Dr. Nikodem Poblowski decided to look for other analogies between black holes and our universe. According to the standard model of cosmology, the universe was born from a singularity as a result of the Big Bang. This is a point where the laws of physics known to us stop working. But we don't know where this point with such an unimaginable amount of energy and compressed matter came from. Poplowski suggested that it originated from a black hole. Scientists think that black holes also have singularities where all their absorbed matter is compressed to its maximum. The scientist compares this point of infinite density and gravity with a seed. According to his theory, such a seed is trillions of times smaller than any particle known to us, but it's still divisible. When matter is compressed to a critical size, a seed bursts, and particles fly out in all directions. They form stars, planets, and galaxies. 13.8 billion years ago, our universe might have formed from just such a seed. So it could be possible that we now live inside a black hole of another, larger universe. And meanwhile, new worlds could be forming inside our giant black holes. Recently, there appeared to be a new twist to the scientist's theory. He suggested that universes don't remain in black holes after their birth. The idea is that a black hole grows and pushes a universe out of itself while maintaining a connection with a new world. This is somewhat similar to a common root connecting two trees, but a black hole and a new universe are connected by a wormhole. It's created at the bottom of a black hole due to the pressure of a spinning seed of singularity. When this seed bursts, its energy and matter are fired into the wormhole, and then a white hole or a new universe is created on the other side of a black hole. According to Poplowski, there should be a constant expansion happening inside white holes. Meanwhile, black holes in our universe bear seeds of new worlds.
The scientist offers theoretical and experimental evidence for his hypothesis. He demonstrated the origin of a universe in a black hole with a simple example of two plastic bottles. In a somewhat similar way, a black hole fills the space of a white hole with matter and energy through a wormhole. He also provided a more scientifically based proof of the hypothesis supported by the known fact of rotation of all galaxies, stars, black holes, and planets in our universe. A similar phenomenon should occur in a primordial universe. This means that our outer space must have the rotation parameters of a black hole from which it emerged. In a black hole, rotation is spiral, so a number of galaxies should be twisted to the left, while the others to the right. And according to scientists at the University of Michigan, this is exactly what happens. In one part of the universe, the majority of galaxies spin to the left, but in the other part, the right-hand rotation prevails. Another surprising hypothesis was suggested by three scientists from the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics. They believe that our universe could have come from a black hole in a higher fourth dimension. We're known to exist in three-dimensional space, but the gaseous accretion disks of black holes are considered two-dimensional. So why can't our universe be a three-dimensional disk of a four-dimensional black hole? The idea is that a huge star from a 4D space exploded and turned into a four-dimensional black hole. So the accretion disk of the monster became three-dimensional. Matter got inside of it, which, after the flash, was not absorbed by the black hole. Something similar happens during supernova explosions when stars scatter their remnants over the surrounding space, and 2D worlds can be hidden in two-dimensional disks of black holes in our universe. We cannot see a four-dimensional world and a parent black hole in it. Scientists suggest that 4D objects would be like incomprehensible clumps of matter to us, and creatures from a 2D daughter universe can only see strange cross-sectional bands of matter in a 3D world. However, the researchers hope to test their theory with a new model of the universe. The gravitational influence of 4D space, according to their calculations, should cause fluctuations in the background radiation, the one that arose immediately after the Big Bang. Now science makes it possible to detect the spectra of this radiation and its changes. Based on these fluctuations, the team of researchers hopes to establish the probability of the existence of a four-dimensional universe. Cosmologists around the globe are also trying to discover the secrets of black holes with the help of new technologies. In 2022, astronomers saw how a black hole, instead of extinguishing, lighted up stars in the dwarf galaxy Heinze 210. And to test their craziest theories, scientists are building holographic, 3D and other models of space monsters. Researchers from Israel have learned how to make microscopic artificial black holes from rubidium. So far, their experiments have confirmed Stephen Hawking's theory that radiation emanates from the interior of a black hole. Now they want to find out the exact nature of this phenomenon. Over time, they may be able to determine other properties of black holes more accurately, currently only known in theory. They hope to create more black holes in the Large Hadron Collider, and these objects would be a thousand times smaller than a proton. In a fraction of a second, they're likely to evaporate or disappear into space. But this is a significant step in studying the incredible properties of black holes. Maybe one day, they'll find entire universes hidden inside them. And when they do, we'll make sure to tell you about it. Scientists have finally done what was once thought impossible. They captured the first image of black hole. But now that black holes have become easier to spot, researchers have found one hiding very close to Earth. Is it dangerous? Is it headed our way? Are there any other black holes out there lurking close to us? In case you're not familiar with these great devourers of the universe, black holes form when massive stars 8 to 15 times more massive than the Sun collapse after running out of fuel. Some create powerful supernova that eject material outward in all directions at almost the speed of light. But some stars simply collapse into dark black holes without a supernova. During collapse, the core of the star begins to compress its gravitational center without ever stopping. The newly formed black hole becomes so dense that its gravitational forces become incredibly strong, pulling it into any object that comes too close. The forces of gravity in a black hole are so strong that even light cannot escape it. 
And now it's just been discovered that there's a black hole just 1,000 light years from Earth. Located in the Telescopium constellation near Sagittarius, it's the closest black hole to the planet Earth ever found. By comparison, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way is 25,000 light years away. This black hole might be too close for comfort. While a thousand light years might sound distant, in cosmic distances, it's very close. It's so close that you can see the star system without a telescope from the southern hemisphere on a dark, clear night with the naked eye. HR 6819 is a triple binary system that is made up of two stars that orbit a black hole. At first, it was thought that this was a simple binary system with just two stars orbiting each other. But after analyzing the data, something very unusual was found about the behavior of the inner star of HR 6819. The velocity of this star was so extreme that the astronomers suspected a third object must be sitting close by which was flinging the stars around like a slingshot with incredible force. European astronomers finally found evidence for a mysterious large invisible object with a mass estimated to be 